Hi, welcome to Cocktails with Evelina, and let's make a delicious watermelon tequila drink because it's summer and I'm very hot. Take some beautiful watermelon which is in season and cube it up. Add it to the blender along with some honey and sugar if you want it sweeter and trust me you're gonna want it sweet because I'm reacting to some salty ass people today. Add two shots of tequila, blend, almost there. Add some ice, crush some blueberries, pour it in a glass, add a straw, and we're ready to taste test. Mmm, delicious. <sighs> Cheers. This is delicious, by the way. Wow, mm, chef's kiss. You know what's not chef's kiss? The family that just uh, got shown on the TLC 90 Day Fiance. Um, you guys know I'm not a reaction channel. I've never filmed a reaction video, but I just couldn't help myself. I have been a fan of the show for years now. I've never skipped an episode. And when I saw that they're going to Moldova, I was like, I'm here for it. I am so freaking excited. So if you grew up in like a third world country or just like an underdeveloped country, you probably know this, that anytime you see your country in like a TV show or a movie, they always show like the worst parts, like the worst kind of poverty ever. And you're just like, oh, but like, but there's the good parts too, like show our country, you know? And I think TLC did a phenomenal job um, really kind of showing the scenery, showing the culture, really showing how beautiful and rich uh, in culture and uh, people we are, not money, nothing else. Anyway, if you've never seen the show, basically um, two people are in love, one's from a foreign country, one is from America, and usually uh, the person, the foreign person tries to get a visa to come to the States, like a fiancé visa, which is 90 days, and at the end of the show they either get married or they break up, which 90 days is not a very long time to decide if you want to get married. Alright, moving on. This season they went to Moldova and I was like, whoo! Finally, somebody, we're getting a little recognition up in this bitch. However, my excitement died uh, pretty quickly when I saw the level of ignorance, um, rudeness, just mean-spirited comments made by um, the wife's family that came to Moldova. I just want to add real quick, um, Andre, we don't claim him either. I just want to make that very clear. Uh, not a fan. Um, although I do like him in the last couple of episodes because the... the Parents-in-law are just so damn rude and the sister that it's like they really leave him no choice It's almost like this character development that like you're like Loki agreeing with Andre and that's not cool All right, let's watch some clips So for the first one the sister of the bride arrives to Moldova the whole family was kind of already there and then she's arriving just pace yourself She's in France. <laughs> I'm wishing I was in France. Yay. Hi, Hi Andre's mom has prepared food for us, so we're gonna eat. I can't believe you guys are here. Oh, I know. You should, I you should take a drink here. and you're gonna not be depressed. I can't drink enough for this weather. <laughs> I gotta say, my first impression is pretty much what I thought it would be. It's very gloomy, sad looking, and hell no, this doesn't look like a European destination. So right off the bat, she gets off the plane with her millions of suitcases. She she thinks she's like Paris Hilton from The Simple Life or something, arriving to like Kentucky. I don't know. Maybe Kentucky is a great state. I've never been. Yes, Moldova isn't exactly a premier exotic destination in Europe, but you could learn a thing or two about Eastern European culture. We have um, a culture that dates back many centuries, and it's a very interesting fusion of uh, Russian culture, Romanian culture, and then we have like our own little Moldovan, Romanian, Russian pot of just everything. But let's keep watching. Okay, there we go. God, I feel like how can you not get like depressed here? It's already dark and it's four o'clock. Well, this is November, Jen. I hate to break it to you, Jen, but it also gets dark in Paris around the same time. We're only like an hour away in the time zones. I feel like there are certain things that you like think and don't say. You know, like, yes, Moldova is a gloomy, dark, depressed country. People in Moldova have been through a lot. I think it's important to realize that the fact that you were born in America is not like the special gift. It, it is a gift. It's a privilege. It's something that you didn't earn. It's something that you were born into. And I'm sure your um, ancestors have emigrated to the States from some poor, sad country that's dark um, to come to look for a better life. But I think like there's a big difference between thinking something and saying it. Like 
think it, don't say it. Oh, it looks gloomy, oh, keep it to yourself. Oh, there's sad, depressed people here, oh, keep it to yourself. Maybe, maybe don't say it on camera. That I would come to Chisinau, Moldova. So landing here was like, this is so surreal. Yeah, not a good start. No bags and it's cold and dreary. It's not Tampa. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, we never even heard of Moldova, you know? So we definitely want to learn more about him, his family, his culture, his past, how he grew up. Can I sit in the front? <laughs> oh, no. You already, you already messed the car up? <laughs> so this is my main street. Is this downtown Chisinau? <laughs> Chisinau. Chisinau? Chisinau, yeah. Do they have Walmart here? No. Sometimes I feel like uh, that the language barrier is actually a positive thing because Elizabeth's family's stupid stuff is not gonna touch you know, the years of uh, my family. <laughs> do you guys eat salads over here? Do you have American barbecue? Yes, we do eat salads there. And we don't have American barbecue, but we do grill a lot of delicious marinated mwah, meats. This is beautiful. Is it? Is this your house? That's where we're staying. <laughs> yeah. Embassy Row. Hi. Wow, this looks great. Your mom did this? Yeah. Aww. Yeah, she, she did a really good job. Try some pig fat. Okay, so that's actually a Ukrainian dish where they kind of freeze the pig fat and cut it. I personally don't like it, but let's keep watching. Come on. I'm not eating that. We don't have fries here, but everything else we have. What is your, what is your song, Moldovan song? Yeah, sing the national anthem for us. I can tell you a couple of words. What you see there is a very traditional Moldovan welcome table. But let me tell you something, when we have guests coming over, whether um, it is a family or a friend, or especially, especially some, somebody coming from a different country, especially America, Moldovans love Americans. Um, so for them, it is something that they work so hard for to try to accommodate the guests. Like, did you see that table where the food was layered and like layers and layers of just colorful, beautiful hors d'oeuvres? And Moldovans don't have big kitchens. Like if you saw any previous episodes, um, the mom has like a tiny little apartment and a, a small kitchen, which is normal. It's a type of kitchen that I grew up in. And whenever there would be guests, like they would have the whole family, whether it's like the mom's sisters, like siblings, cousins, everybody comes for like three days and preps like a shit ton of food, like a lot of food. So it's like a three day process. So I can only imagine what this woman went through to create this beautiful spread. Mind you, we are not rich. So I don't think she did this out of abundance. Like she probably either borrowed the money or saved the money. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna play you the clip now that kind of angered me personally. And um, not just me, this was a, an event online. A lot of people were very, very, very upset and for a good reason. So let's watch it together. By the way, this is in reference to the one we just watched. Wait while I'm here because of this food, like I can't eat any of it. You know, like when you go to a dinner and you have to say, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I'm here to eat. Isn't that a good thing? Like if you go to a dinner, um, and you don't know what you're eating like you're trying new things. It's like what's that? What's that? What's that? You know, like I'm always down to try new foods now Yes, there's certain foods that I personally don't prefer or don't enjoy But if I'm in a different country like you know, I'm at least gonna try it or at least like Show some respect <clears throat> Eating that bread with the pork that don't like it was nothing. I'm it's like, disgusting. It's disgusting yeah. dude. Wait, I Okay, full honesty, I do not like the pork fat. I never liked it as a child. My mom like made me try that once. I was like, never put that shit next to me ever again. Um, I hate it, but I don't like pork and I don't like fat things. However, when you're gonna go on national television and say, that's disgusting, like, oh my God, like they're eating that, that's disgusting. First of all, this is not even a Moldovan dish. Um, this actually originated from Ukrainian. Uh, pork fat is called sala and um, Ukrainians eat this. And not just Ukrainians, Romanians, I'm pretty sure Bulgarians, Russians. So you just offended half of the continent, half of Eastern Europe. I wonder if the reason they eat pork fat is because it's like cheese yeah. and it's like well, almost like the scraps. That's they're eating more dynasty, dude. They're eating, they're eating peasant food. I love how he says it. It's like, it's like, it's like yeah, they're eating peasant food. Like he like, knows it's a messed up thing to say but if he's gonna say it low or it's like he's like yes but i'm a nice person there's no nice way of 
saying that somebody's eating peasant food. Like, I'm sorry. And besides the point, don't eat the pork fat. There's so many dishes on that table. There's crudités, there's smoked salmon, there's bread, there's potatoes, there's little salads. There's like so many little things, all fresh, homemade, beautiful ingredients. Like, why are you gonna have to like pick up our one dish that you didn't like? I'm sorry, like I'm open to trying stuff, but not to like that. No, I wouldn't try that. He has a lot more to tell us. Let's go get some real food. This is bull yeah, for real. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like stale it's bread. Trash. <laughs> yeah. Um, now that I think about it, I never realized that Tampa, Florida was the culinary capital of the world. There's so many things to unpack with that. If I had the chance right now to teleport to that beautiful table, I would go nuts. I would probably eat for two hours straight. Like that food is delicious. What blows my mind the most is they all get up, say the word nasty, disgusting, trash, and they all get up and say they're gonna go get some real food. What is real food? This is real food. Unprocessed, homegrown, organic, beach. We have no processed food. People grow that shit in their gardens. What is real food? Where are you going? Going to McDonald's? You know you could have just went to the market and made that for yourself. But above anything else, like we're not even gonna debate what, like if American food is better, whatever you're used to is fine. You don't have to like Moldovan food. But what really I think is embarrassing and hard to watch for you, and maybe you're watching this, Jen, Chuck, whatever, maybe not, maybe you guys wanna send it to them. What I think is really, really cringy and difficult to watch is whether you like the food or not, these people opened up their home to you. They were generous and hospitable to you. Where, please show me where in American culture would somebody put a spread like that for you? Never. If you have guests, the most people do is like a barbecue and then uh, they have this thing where it's like bring your own food, you know, or bring your own dish or bring dessert. We don't have that. You don't bring anything. When you come to a Moldovan household, whether they have money or not, whether they have the means or the time, they're going to treat you like royalty and that's exactly what they did and for you guys to just be so like cruel and mean-spirited now for the grand finale we're about to watch some clips from the wedding i warn you the weddings in moldova are freaking insane and this did not disappoint but before we get into it let me just uh let me do a little quick change of clothes what's up i got my national moldovan blouse it is hand embroidered it is our pride and joy it is very important to our culture um yeah i thought i would get a little festive i'm so excited so we went to look at that party. it's so beautiful we were here at our reception and this is when the grand ball happens yes entertainment at moldovan weddings are always a big thing we have nice music high quality dancers and singers, it's gonna be nice. Yep, we're ready to party. This makes me want to have a Moldovan wedding so bad. Like, I didn't realize how much I was missing out till I watched this wedding. Like, this, this actually made me want to go home so bad. Like, this is so lit. Look at that. Yeah, that was great. Alright, Charlie, Andre and Libby's wedding is so over the top. The way that they were describing this reception was that it was going to kind of be low key and everything. Hell yeah, it's extravagant. Also, weddings in Moldova are pretty cheap. So, whatever she thinks, they went over the budget. Like, basically, they just had to pay for the venue and like a couple hundred euros for the dancers. Like, it's not as extravagant as it looks. But of course, negative Nancy over here can't just be happy. Oh. Like, this is where the f all the money is gone that my dad has given them. I feel like Andre's trying to impress everyone here back in Moldova. Like, look what I have now. Look what I have. And it's like, you don't. We do. Our family does. But like... Oh my god, is that Chuck drinking on an empty stomach? Shiota. I just want to say, Andre's parents are so freaking sweet and cute. Like, I am obsessed. Can we just pause the screen real quick? Let's dissect this. Is that some beautiful, delicious smoked salmon? caviar with egg it's like a little deviled egg rendition some ham olives i don't know looking pretty good to me let's see what chuck has to say it's salmon it's like raw stuff dude no try the shrimp we're not doing that the shrimp's cooked 
It's like at this point, he's just trying to like make a point. It's delicious, normal food. Like you've never had a charcuterie board, never had a charcuterie board. Come on, bro. Oh my God, I won't be able to control myself. This is so lit. Look how extra this shit is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I'm blushing. Oh my god, look at him doing the little Moldovan dance. See, he's like participating in the culture a little bit. Dude, you're more Moldovan than you know. Like you, all of us have a little Moldovan in them. Like just admit it. Oh my god, he's losing it. Look at him. Of course, the obligatory drunk uncle at every Moldovan wedding, that is a must. I've never been to a wedding reception that they bring out dancers and they like go crazy. Yeah, it's called culture. It's a beautiful thing. I'm glad you got to experience it. And it's almost like a show. Like they know how to party. Look at that food. Now what that is, I don't have no idea. I think that's caviar. Caviar on what? Is it weird? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, they're laughing, they're like, <laughs> we're so fucking, you're not funny, you're just uncultured. Anyway, I'll stop it right there, because basically he didn't eat anything at the wedding, got super drunk, caused a scene. What can I say? Moldovan weddings are lit. Ignorance in itself is not the worst thing, you know? We're all ignorant in some ways. I don't claim to know every single culture of every country like hell. Like I'll probably go to like half of the countries of the world and I won't know anything about their culture or their food or, or where it comes from. But it's one thing to be ignorant and another one to be boastful and prideful about being ignorant. Not knowing something doesn't make you special. It doesn't make you more interesting. It doesn't make you more elite. It doesn't like d differentiate you from the peasants. The fact like, oh, I didn't even know what this was. You didn't know, so you wanna learn, so you do know. But to have this attitude that like you're better than everybody in some way, being born in America is a privilege. Growing up in America is a huge privilege. It's not like God didn't like choose you miraculously because you're special, that like, wow, like you get to like go to other countries and like act special. You're not special, you're just lucky. And you're privileged to have to have that upbringing. I personally would never ever trade growing up in America just because Moldova taught me so much. It taught me how to be hardworking, resilient. It taught me to survive in any kind of conditions. I can always start from zero and build it up. Like I'll never go to a different country and be like, oh my God, like I don't have good conditions. Like, you know what? Adapt, survive, overcome. It actually brings me genuine joy um, to see people like this, like people that like grew up in like a privileged upbringing in like a white suburban neighborhood come to Moldova and suffer. There's, ugh, I love to see it. I actually have like a list of people that I would just like love to send to Moldova for a week, see how they're gonna do. In conclusion, it's really disappointing to see such behavior in modern society, especially you have access to internet you can spend a couple hours on YouTube and Google educating yourself before you go to a country. No matter where you are, you are in their territory. So you have to show respect and you have to be kind. I'll say this, us Moldovans didn't grow up with much. Most of us anyway, there's some rich ass Moldovans. But for the most part, as a nation, we're pretty humble people. We didn't grow up with a lot of money. We didn't grow up with a lot of opportunities. We're landlocked. We didn't even, I haven't even seen the ocean until I turned 19 years old. How crazy is that? But I will say this, my mom, my family raised me to never ever disrespect, look down on another culture, human being. We're always respectful, kind, and hospitable. And maybe you have a thing or two to learn from Moldovans. Anyway, I hope that you guys liked it. It's something so different than what I normally do on my channel, but I hope that you guys liked it, that I would spice things up a little bit and I had a lot to say. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if there's anything else you would like me to react to. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Also, if you've made it all the way to here, Holy shit, I'm impressed, I'm amazed. This video is probably an hour long. Um, since you're here, give me a like. It's really gonna help me out a lot if I entertained you for uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but I'd really appreciate that. I'm gonna go to bed. It is two in the morning. <laughs>
All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!